Sometimes I wake up in the morning and worry. Worried we won't be able to get into Ecuador. Worried the van might break down. There can be a lot of stress with this life. But when you find a spot like this, it makes it all worth it and more. We find ourselves up in the Andes Mountains of Colombia. Very high altitude. And this is beautiful. So yesterday we left Bucaramanga. Right before we left, we called a finca up in the mountains that we found on iOverlander and we asked him if we would be able to spend the night at their nice little farm. We drove two hours at night through dirt rock roads on the side of a steep mountain. But once we got up here, it was definitely worth it. It was a little bit farther than we expected. Now that we're here, I feel like we should never leave. This kind of a high altitude environment is only 0.5% of the state of Santander. This is one of the fastest evolving areas in the world. A microclimate that has plenty of room up here in the mountains. This area is called the Paramo and it's a hotbed for national and international research. These plants here are called frailijones, particular to this environment. When we arrived at the finca, the very nice abuela and her daughter gave us some agua de panela, which is concentrated sugarcane juice with water. It tasted like a tea and it was really warm and exactly what we needed after such a long drive. that we came here when it was super dark out because getting surprised by this incredible beauty is like perfect. Up here it's nice and cold like I bet it was probably 40 degrees at night. What? Now here it's like dirt and rock road up to 12,000 feet here and so we're gonna hike today do a little day hike up here. They have a trout farm here. We're gonna hike past that up here and check out a lagoon up there. We're gonna hopefully do a backpacking trip tomorrow up over this way. They have a really nice trail. It goes way up there. We're the first Casa Rodante they've ever had here, they say. We were just having a leisurely coffee, breakfast, getting ready for the day. And all of a sudden, a bunch of cars showed up. And um, Danny finally walked outside to say hey. And uh, all of these people surrounded the van and they were like, we want a tour, we want a tour. So we were showing them and they just hopped up in the van, started taking pictures of us and everything. And it ended up being that it was the mayor of the town down here. Yeah. And he was showing around a politician from Bogota, which is like a pretty big place. So like those guys are probably well known in Colombia. Yeah. <laughs> and they were just in our van like taking pictures, saying hi to Graham and So funny. Yeah. So today we'll do a little day hike and and prepare for the big one tomorrow. Mm. Okay, Grammy, are you coming? Thankfully, we got this Maps.me app and you can follow the GPS track. If you rotate your phone, it kind of shows us where your phone's pointing. I've got a little lost in the possibility.
the pre-hike brekkie. Looks good. So we got potatoes with onions and peppers and then we put in some to tofu in there so we get some protein punch and then Danny cut up some tomatoes, peppers and avocado with some lime. And then we're going up there. Savita State Park and we're planning on backpacking up to this beautiful lake. It's a pretty, it says it's a low difficulty hike but it's gonna get really really cold up there so we have a lot of stuff and we're planning on staying two nights this time since we have Graham with us. Today we're gonna go a little bit past the lake, set up camp there, probably hang out at camp. And then tomorrow we're going to head for the summit and come back down and spend another night at our camp. And then the next day we'll come back to the van. So this trail is a lot easier than the one yesterday, but it is a little wet still, but only at certain parts. Let loose the hounds. The best part about this trail is that we basically have beautiful views the entire time. So that's really, really nice. Which I think is a, is a constant in a lot of the Andes mountains, trails and valleys. Too much water for Graham. We're over at Laguna de las Calles. So the legend is there was a farmer here who made the roads of rock to protect his riches. So people were coming trying to destroy the rock to find his riches. So using magic, he buried the treasure even deeper by covering the rock with the water and making this laguna. So this is the end of most of the people's hike here. So we're gonna keep on heading up and make camp for the night somewhere. Somewhere flat. <laughs> Now we're scouting out where to sleep. So Sambrita and I are looking for a place to camp. Danny and Graham stayed down there by the backpack so we could 
get up here a little faster. So Sambrita and I are looking for a place that's flat and more protected by the wind. So, wow, I think that we found a pretty good spot over here. It is a little windy, but we're on a mountain. <laughs> Looks like there's a water source nearby without making the, the ground marshy, so that's also pretty good. Wow, just incredible! We'll try and go and see Danny, see if we can say hello. Huh. Oh, yeah, there he is. I can't believe I'm up here! Okay, enough viewfinding. I gotta go back to work. <laughs> wow, looks like I found some neighbors. A couple cows. Hi! I was gonna think about looking for a spot in that field, but maybe not with these cows here. Chiki, get the... Hi guys! You guys some friendly cows? I think you are, you look friendly. Hey, I found a spot! Let's head up and have some lunch. Got some major max and relaxing going on here. The crazy thing about mountains is that it could be really, really hot one minute because the sun is so strong, and then the next second uh, the wind picks up and you're like and you're freezing cold. So it's just good to cover up your skin as much as you can and. We've been reapplying sunscreen all day. Here comes the wind again. So, you know, it's like off and on the cold and the heat. But I wouldn't want it any other way. It's perfect weather for me. So our campsite tonight is at 12,300 feet. So we're pretty high up here. <laughs> I don't think we've ever camped in a tent this high before. So we'll see how it goes tonight. We packed so many extra blankets and we have um, sleeping bags that are rated for 20 degrees so as well as sleeping with the cat and the dog I think that we'll all be super warm inside but we'll see how the wind is and everything we did make it so if we just wanted to go down tomorrow if it's too cold it's not a big deal for us but we have enough food for two nights so hopefully we'll make it
Okay, let's go, buddy. Got some lentils, carrots, mashed potatoes, and a veggie packet. So nice all together in the tent. Graham slept completely inside my sleeping bag. So we were plenty warm. That also left Sombrita with a ton of blankets to crawl under. Good morning. We had our breakfast here and I filtered some water, but I don't think we're feeling well enough to make it to the summit today. Probably just gonna head back down to the van, but that's all right. Like we have to be able to know our boundaries and if we tried to summit, then we'd probably feel a lot worse. So we're going to pack up camp and head down back to the van. It was really nice up here yesterday. We had a really great time and Graham and Sombrita are doing great at the tent as always. campsite we walked around a couple times made sure we left no trace you ready yeah let's do it you ready buddy he's chilling all right let's go back to the van some some let's go to the van huh buddy. So I did filter the water this morning and we have a backpacking pump filter so uh, it works 100% of the time. So I put in two iodine tablets and I've never had iodine tablets before. We usually just keep it for emergencies. The iodine tablets taste so bad. It tastes like drinking pool water, but at least we know that we're, we have safe water. So I shouldn't complain too much, but I just wish I had one little lemon squeeze or something to put in there. <laughs> wow, first glimpse of the van.
such an incredible valley we were fortunate enough to explore. Send this to someone in need of some stress relieving outdoor time and let me know what the highest altitude you've ever been in the comments. We really appreciate all the support. We put a lot of work into our videos. So make sure to subscribe and share. See you next time.